Yeah, we are, whew, we are quite devastated uh, with uh, what has happened here um, yesterday from the afternoon. Um, we wish to send our condolences uh, to the families um, of those um, that have passed on. Um, so far, we've got three outside of um, Etequini Metro and seven um, so far uh, in Etequini Metro. We are expecting the numbers um, to still change. We've got about 52 uh, that were treated uh, last night and released. We have about 14 that are still in hospital, that are being hospitalized in, in various uh, hospitals uh, in and around um, Etequini. Um, our teams are still busy with the, the assessment at the moment, as you can see, um, the damage is quite huge. Um, the areas um, that are affected um, in the province, it's, it's not only has been uh, the coastal areas, um, uh, the inner part of the province has also been affected uh, badly um, because the alert that we had received of level four, it predicted that it was around the coastal um, part of the province, um, but when it changed, um, it happened to then um, go to um, the other parts uh, of the province. The holes that um, they used uh, last night, um, but for today, we'll probably have to, um, because the schools, they need the schools as well. The children need to go back to those schools. The Department of Education is going to be bringing in temporary, um, you know, uh, classes uh, for the schools that were also damaged. So we, they, those that were in the schools, they will have to move out of the schools. So we are now working on all the other temporary shelters, but as you see, you would have seen that they had to light, um, they had to put fires on the road so that they can stay overnight and, and look after their belongings. But that's not, you know, uh, you know, a, a proper place um, to stay overnight. They can't, you know, stay on the roads every day. So we'll have to look for a place where they can put their belongings and then move um, to other areas while we're then uh, seeking uh, some other uh, alternative accommodation. Um, unfortunately, um, we are not able to say. Um, the MEC has organized that we're going to be bringing more teams um, to do the profiling so that it's quick um, because the, the area is quite vast and the teams that we have at the moment, um, there are about 30 teams that we have, but we see that they are not enough um, to cover the amount of people that are affected. So if we can bring more teams uh, by today, then at least we'll be able to reach as many people as we can and the work will move faster as well to know how much accommodation we still need.